Continuing from Part 1, Comparing and Contrasting Paul Dillette with Arnold Schwarzenegger, take a look at Dillette's double biceps pose. There are many dissimilarities to Arnold but torso length and ribcage size stand out. To drive this home more, let's put Arnold's head on Dillette. His torso immediately looks even longer because you are used to associating Arnold's head with a shorter torso. Dillette's style of posing trunks factor in with this but even with the addition of trunks more in keeping with Arnold's posing trunks, it still looks like Dillette has a longer torso. And likely, to some degree, shorter femur bones. On a side note, Paul Dillette has been consistently listed as 6 foot 1 inch and Arnold Schwarzenegger's height was often given as 6 foot 2, although Arnold's peak height has been debated as being slightly shorter. But Dillette has always looked taller in photos than his listed height of 6 1. Part of that may be due to his overall proportions and head size. It was surprising when first reading that he was only 6 1 because he always towered over fellow competitors. Of course, body position, camera angles, perspective and other factors play into this, but Dillette easily looks 5 inches taller than 5 foot 10 inch Dorian Yates in this photo. About 9 inches taller than 5 foot 9 Kevin Lavroni in this image. Or, at least 5 inches taller than Lavroni here. Here he is close to Lou Ferrigno's height, looking 5 inches taller than 5 foot 11 Nasser El body. But here, Paul is only about 3 inches taller than 5 foot 10 Chris Cormier in this group shot. And he's roughly muscle mag publisher Robert Kennedy's 6 foot height. Notice how much bigger Kennedy's head is than Dillette's. Comic book artists incorporate heads that are smaller in proportion to the rest of their bodies to illustrate heroic proportions. So, Paul Dillette may be 6 foot 1 but he often photographs as taller, and to top it off has, what some artists call, heroic proportions. Back to the photo of Arnold's head on Paul Dillette's body, take a look at this image of Schwarzenegger's double biceps, different angle, lens, etc. But you can clearly see that Arnold had much greater lower lats development. Arnold's lats are seen from the front at as low as navel level. He also had a bigger rib cage and performed stomach vacuums which gave his double biceps pose a more majestic look. Arnold's chest was more three-dimensional whereas Dillette's chest was wider, mirroring his wider shoulder structure. Dillette's glute ham muscles had much greater development than Arnold's, and this development discrepancy is, bodybuilding era related. Glute ham development is even more of a trend now with current bodybuilders like Chris Bumstead and Big Rami training their gluteus maximus and medius like any other muscles. Dillette's shorter looking lats, longer torso, and smaller rib cage are noticeable in this back shot. Arnold's lats start tapering outward right above the iliac crest. Dillette wears his trunks higher in back but this is the same area, the iliac crest, on Arnold and Dillette. Dillette's scapula and associated scapula muscles are what stuck out on his sides. Under his scapula is almost straight down to his waistline, whereas with Arnold, there is a continuous taper. Finally, Dillette had a lot more deltoid mass but Arnold displayed a higher level of detail. Arnold's pec, delt, and lower back striations were more evident. Dillette had more striated triceps, glutes, and ironically more striations across the lower lats specifically. Independent of the lower back, partly because he did dedicated Christmas tree poses, designed for displaying striations in the lats, and lower back, as opposed to just the rear double biceps which incidentally brought out lower back and lat striations. Although lower back striations have always been around, the Christmas tree pose, as we know it, was popularized by, if not invented by, 1983 Mr. Olympia, Samir Banut.